to school trendy makeup tutorial this is actually a collaboration video so if you guys want to see my friend's tutorial her name is Ms. Missy Buffo on YouTube and I will link her uh, channel down in the description box and you guys can go see her look for back to school um, trendy wise the reason that this is trendy is because for this season or I mean for the um, fall season there's a certain makeup trends that are you know around that are trending right now so one of them is glowy skin for glowy skin I think it's important to use a foundation that's very lightweight and one of my favorites right now is actually the L'Oreal magic nude liquid powder so this one you don't have to use powder and I think using a lot of powder mattifies your skin so much to the point where it doesn't even look glowy anymore it doesn't look natural and glowy and everything so that's why I really like this foundation of course a little bit of orange blush I have on as well because orange has been like my favorite blush color for a while now and I'm in love with orange but yeah so just use one of these you don't need a cake makeup on that's not how you're gonna get a glowy skin the other thing for glowy skin is to use a highlight and my favorite highlight right now is actually this powder palette in mineral glow mineral mineral glow pearls for, um, from physicians formula and this is in the color translucent pearl as you guys can see right there so basically you're just gonna put this on your cheekbone area a little bit in the middle and down your nose you don't want to put on too much because you don't want to look like you're doing this on purpose you just want the light to sort of catch onto those areas that are going to accentuate your features so hold on let me put my mirror down so we're going to take some of this i use like this little fan brush thing i don't know where this is from it doesn't have anything on it um i think it might be from one of like um a set of brushes i got a while ago so i'm just gonna take a little and brush my brush onto this and let me change my mirror angle so i'm still in the camera view and we're gonna put some right here as you guys can see this is my cheekbone area so a little bit like that. Can you guys see that already? You guys can see the glow. So that'll kind of give you the kind of glowy skin we're looking for. Or the glowy skin we're aiming for in this video. That is, I think that one needs a little more. Then we're gonna put some right in the center and a little down the bridge of our nose. And that one I always do the least because I don't want it to make it look oily almost. So that's how you get your glowy skin. This makeup that's trending right now is bright colors as eyeshadow. I for school, I don't think that's really necessary. For those of you guys that want to wear bold eyeshadow, go for it. Go wear bright colors and bold eyeshadow colors. But I will show you guys what I like to do, what I wear to school, what I actually wear a lot on an everyday basis as well. And this has actually been really requested and everybody in videos is like asking me what colors I'm using and everything to do my eyes. So I will show you that right now. I'm going to take this little flat kind of brush and I'm using my Glinda Oz Great and Powerful palette. I use two colors from this for my eyes. I'm not doing any eyeshadow. I don't have time to do eyeshadow for school in the morning. It just takes so much longer to blend it all in. So I just kind of do it underneath my waterline. So the first color I'm taking is this light blue color from the Glinda palette up here. And this we're gonna put on the inner half of our eye, underneath our eye. Does that make sense? Yes, it does make sense. Okay, so I'm gonna get some, load some up on my brush. And we're gonna put this on the inner corner, right here. Now, although this isn't as bright as you would normally see the makeup trending, this is bold and it's pretty bright to me. It's like a, I don't, I don't know what it's called, the holographic kind of blue, light blue color. I don't know. I just love this color and I wear it a lot. So there we go. We have that on the inner half of my eye and I'm just going to go ahead and do my other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have that done, yes, that looks a little scary right now. Normally, if you're just doing white, just do the inner corners and not like the inner half of your eye. But then next, I'm going to take this purple right here, also from the Oz Great and Powerful Glinda palette, using the same brush. And I'm going to put this on the outer half of my eye underneath my waterline and sort of blend in the two colors in the middle where they meet. So do you guys see how that looks? It's not like a bright color that you do eyeshadow as what is trending, 
but this is bright enough of what I would do for school and this is kind of what I do every day anyway and you guys wanted to know what eyeshadow colors I'm using so now you know now the next makeup trend is falsies I personally don't really like falsies I'm not a fan of them I think it takes forever to put on and I can't do it right so I'm just gonna do full lashes first I'm going to take my eyelash curler okay and now we're gonna put on mascara so this is we're up to the third makeup trend right now. How much more do I have? I have two more. There's five makeup trends right now. So, okay. After we put on this mascara, we'll move on to the next makeup trend. And I think even if you want to do this whole full face, um, I think it's perfect for school because I'm not doing anything too drastic. But it's also good if you guys want to pick out pieces of the makeup trends that are trending now and just use that as a back to school kind of thing. But yeah, that's the point of this back to school tutorial. To tell you guys about the makeup trending and to also give you guys a wearable look for back to school. I mean, obviously, if you're like 10, maybe you're not going to be doing this, but if you're in college or even in high school, maybe like a senior in high school, So there are our bold eyelashes, and I just used the Rocket Volume Express mascara from Maybelline. This is like my favorite right now, so that's what I just used. But you could use whatever mascara works for you. Um, I actually just want to put on some eyeliner to go with my um, eyes once I find my eyeliner. Oh, I'm sitting on it. How wonderful! All right, hold on. Let's just put on some eyeliner. I think it'll I think it looks nicer with eyeliner and the thing in the waterline. Though you don't have to do it because it's already kind of dark with the purple. Okay, see, so now that's our eyes. Now the next makeup trend is to have full brows. I, as you guys can see, my eyebrows aren't as thin as some people's eyebrows. I never liked them really, really thin. Um, so if you guys have the really thin eyebrows and you want them a little thicker, you can go outside of your natural eyebrow shape a little bit. Don't go like midway through your forehead because that's going to look crazy, okay? So for eyebrows, I like to take an angled brush. This one is, um, I think this is from MAC, but it's just their angled brush. And I actually like to use eyeshadow, so I'm using the color Brun from MAC. This is the color right here. Yes, a hip pan. Isn't that sad? Okay, so just gonna dab a little bit and trace the shape of my eyebrows and make them fuller. If you guys don't want to make them like bigger, just at least fill them in and that will make them look fuller as well. Great, now we have our fuller eyebrows. So now we have one last makeup trend right now, and that is also bold lips. So just like you have bright colors for your eyes, that is the makeup trend, you also have bold lips. So since I did purpley on my eyes, I didn't think it'd be right for me to do an orange lipstick or pink lipstick. I thought we should go with some purple today. So that's my bold color of choice. I'm using Heroin from MAC. And it's just this purple lipstick. And yeah, that's the last makeup trend. So you guys got five makeup trends. Oh, I just, my camera. Get back up there. Okay, okay. Um, so now you guys have five makeup trends that you guys can incorporate into your back to school um, makeup. <laughs> so here we're putting on the purple. There we have our purple lips. So I'll show you guys the completed look. As I said though, you don't have to incorporate all of these um, makeup trends into one look. You guys can choose bits and pieces, but this is my completed look for back to school. You guys don't have to do the bold lips either. I know it looks a little like much for back to school, but if you're just using bold lips and not really anything else, then it's gonna look fine. So I'm gonna zoom out a little. Oh, let's zoom in. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I did it a different way. I thought it was better for me to show you guys each makeup trend piece by piece instead of just doing like a makeup tutorial and doing voiceover. So I thought this was better for this kind of video um, in particular. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys enjoy your back to school makeup tutorial and makeup trend video. So I want to see your guys makeup looks. If you guys want to tag me in on Instagram or on Twitter, I'd love to see your pictures. And in case you guys were wondering, my eyes um, the eye color I have and where the lenses are from is all in the description box below. So I'll link the exact link for you guys to get them if you want them. And I have a cute coupon code for you guys as well so you guys can check that out. And I will talk to you later. So happy back to school shopping and being back in school and meeting your friends and taking notes. And by the way guys, I love taking notes because I take notes in different colors and it's the funnest thing ever. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you later. And don't forget to check out Miss Missy Boofle's channel and see her makeup look for a back to school tutorial as well. So I'll talk to you guys later. Take care because I care and I love you. Bye.